Greetings, this is Eroto Jumbo. In this tutorial, we're going to learn about JavaScript social media bot detector. So, one of the problems with social media is the little bots. Some of them are malicious, some of them are, are used to uh, prop up some accounts. Maybe it's for spam or other intent. So, we need a simple way to be able to detect whether the social media account is a bot or not. So I'm going to choose three simple ways. So the first way is going to be by the username. So for example, if a username has a jumbled combination of letters uh, and word, uh, for example, in this one it's X, Y, Z, a whole bunch of numbers, I'm going to assume that's a bot. Now, there are also other ways. Uh, the next way is the behavior. So for example, if a, an account has a lack of engagement with other users, uh, for example, there will be no likes, there will be nobody's following that account, and uh, that account is also not following anyone. And the other one is slightly related to behavior, but the different, and I'll explain in a second, is, for example, if the number of followers or following are very high without a corresponding engagement. So, for example, you could have very high views, or but there's no comments or answers. For example, if it's very high views, one of the people who viewed that message or content would ask a question or say, oh, this is fantastic. Just little things like that. So, for example, if you have one million views and there's zero engagement, that is very suspicious. Nobody liked it. Nobody even said, oh, this, this sucks or oh, this is fantastic. That's very suspicious. So, those are the three criteria I'm going to use. There's obviously more. Uh, for example, it could be the images. It could be fake images. But I want something that's simple that can easily be programmed and uh, you can build on that. So, in this tutorial, everything we do, we have done before. So, for example, we're going to create an object, which we did in the arrays, and we're going to use a loop. We're going to use the full in loop. So, we have, we have done uh, the loops. We've just actually just finished uh, with the loops. The last loop tutorial we did was the do while loop. You can use any type of loop you want. I will use the for in loop. And of course, the, you, you can expand to see the code snippet here, and this is just the screenshot. So we head over to ojumboshop.com. We're going to use the code IDE. You can follow along with any IDE you want to use and any output. Simply JavaScript runs in a web browser. You can simply just output your code into a web browser, or if you want to follow along, uh, or the jumboshop.com learning JavaScript course, you're more than welcome. Be sure to subscribe for more frequent content. Okay, so let's begin. As usual, when you use this IDE, you can always paste, uh, you can paste it in there. So what I'll do is I'll create a, an object, I'll call it accounts. It's going to be a multi dimension type of array so it's we have a username so the first one I will use XYZ three three four three four four three four Then joined. This is another way you can check. You can see when the person joined. So 2024, 11, 15. So this was yesterday at the time of recording. And there's zero messages. 
there are also zero likes so following will be zero and followers will be hundred thousand so as you can already tell that's already very suspicious because why would somebody be following an account which has no messages no likes they're not following anyone it has that many followers so that's clearly uh, a fake account now it's obviously easier if you're human to detect that one but sometimes if you have so many users you won't be able to comb through them as a person so this is why you can create your own very simple algorithm to get this data so this this object is valid json but as long as you convert it into a format that javascript can read it uh, you can use any format you like you can even pull it from a database a, a, a non-flat database And you can tweak the you can tweak the code to suit your needs. So for example, John D, the last user I just made, that one is up to you to decide if uh, if that's a bot or not. And I'll show you how you can tweak it. So this person joined in 2023. You can also go by date. by messages just be realistic like for example if someday is posting 10,000 messages per day you know that's iffy I just want to point out not all bots are malicious. Sometimes, for example, if it's a weather bot for for uh, a weather uh, site, obviously they will be posting several times. They'll say, "Oh, the weather has now changed. It's now windy. It's now snowing." So those are type of things which would be clear. Uh, that it's it's a bot it's not trying to be a human okay so the first thing we'll do is we'll check the username so I'll create a variable I'll call it that username equals false Then let username D equals accounts key dot username dot match. I'm going to use some um, regex. I think I have lots of uh, regex tutorials as well. I think even some videos so ok 
good. Then we just have an if statement. We say if user name D is not equal to null. Then we say if username D because it gives it, it puts it in some type of array dot length is greater than four. And I'll explain why I chose greater than four. As I said, you can always tweak it. The reason I chose greater than four is because as humans, we we usually put maybe our date of birth in two characters or we we can use four characters we're not using more than four four characters so that's what I'm saying you can tweak this so what we do here then we say username equals true so this means it's a likely but okay so that's done so next we'll check the behavior So I'll say behavior equals false. That's the default as well. Now I'll say if accounts key dot messages equals oops equals zero and Account key dot likes is greater than zero or counts key dot follow wing is greater than zero or account key dot followers greater than zero So then behavior equals true. So this is also a likely but. And finally, we check the metadata. So we say let metadata equals false so we say if accounts key dot likes is greater than accounts key dot messages or counts key dot following is greater than accounts key dot messages or count key dot followers is greater than accounts key dot dot messages so 
So say mirror data equals true and it will be a likely but. Okay, now we're done. We just need to print out some nice message. So we say username or behavior or meta data. This is a short form of if, if it's true. So we'll say console.log accounts key dot username we we'll concatenate is a likely likely but we'll set else console dot log Accounts key dot username is unlikely to be a bot. Okay, I made a mistake. Most likely it's here, let's see if I can fix it quickly. It's probably this guy here. So you see Gen B is unlikely to be a bot, John D is likely a bot, and XYZ is a likely bot. Now if we go back to here, uh, remember the full articles of jumbo.com slash javascript hyphen social hyphen media hyphen bot hyphen detector. You can expand here to see the source code we use today. This is just a screenshot of the code and this is just the output screenshot this is the video watching you now again be sure to subscribe for more frequent content such as this one uh, if you want to learn javascript it will be at ojamboshop.com the links are in the description if you prefer to just get the ebook which won't have javascript or the ide uh, you can also learn at your own pace it's available at on amazon simply search for editor jumbo the links are in the description and as you can see under references for this article, you can get the learning JavaScript course out of jumboshop.com and the learning JavaScript ebook on Amazon. And if you prefer one-on-one -on -one tutorials or if you want anything else like custom websites, applications, or if you have any suggestions for tutorials, uh, you can visit ojumboservices.com. And that's the end. Thank you very much.